All right, this is uh, Amazon purchase vacuum gauge. Um, that one there. And one of the reviews said it uh, wasn't at zero when they opened it out of the box, so they returned it. Well, these have to be calibrated, um, so I'm going to tell you how to do that. It's pretty, pretty easy. It's a screw right here under the glass. That'll get that adjusted to zero. So to do that, you got to take these two Phillips off the back. I believe then this rubber. Here, I'll take that apart. Let me get some hands on it. Two screws are out, and we're just peeling back the rubber over the top. And then I believe this should twist off. Let me see. Okay, did not twist off, but if you see right there, that little looks like a tab. It's ever so slightly a place you can get a screwdriver or a very small pick in there and separate that. And it just pops off. Man, I need the tripod. But I'm going to pop that off. Once I, I got the screwdriver in there, separate it. Let me pop it off. And yes, just work your way around slightly, gently. And there she is. And they should be able to just go with the same screwdriver. Maybe. Maybe. Alright, I'm going to need two hands, but I'm just going to adjust that until zero is zero. That's simple, folks. Gauges are precise instruments. You can't ship them um, unless they're fluid-filled. A fluid-filled instrument will stay steady, but these are cheap. You can't ship them and expect them to be perfect. So that's how you adjust most any gauge. You can any gauge you see. There's a screw here. Sometimes on the back there's an adjustment, but that's how you do this one.